Welcome back to Rollix. In today's video, I'm going to go over how you can guess how old a turtle is. And these are estimates, so they're not going to work exactly, but whether you're going to be buying a turtle or maybe just see a turtle out in the wild and you want to know how old they are, these techniques can help you guess their age. Let's get into it. So the easiest and most reliable way to guess the age of a turtle is to look up the age chart on Google and then measure the length of their shell. So for example, it will definitely depend on the species of turtle and then sometimes even if whether it's a male or a female, but most turtle species have a general guideline of how fast they grow over time. So I'm gonna pop up on the screen here some of the most common types of pet turtles and then also turtles that are most commonly found in the wild. And you can see how fast they generally grow over time. So on the screen now is the red-eared slider, which is a species that Penny is. And then here is the Western painted turtle. Here is the Southern painted turtle. Here's the diamondback terrapin. Here's the box turtle. Here it is for the musk turtle. And then here it is for the map turtle. So just screenshot if you need to look at it a little bit closer. All right, so now I'm gonna measure Penny's shell. From top to bottom, it looks like her shell is about, about seven and a half inches is where it came out to. So right about there. So if we pull up that chart again, you can see Penny, she is a female. So at seven and a half inches, that puts her between the ages of five and eight. And she is around seven years old. So in this case, it looks like the chart did work. A couple things to keep in mind with this method, while it is a good estimate, it's not always 100% true, and like any other animal species, there can be a runt in the litter, as they say for dogs. So for example, like there could be turtles of the same species that are born at the same time, and just because of genetics or maybe how much they eat, one might be five inches at, when they're three years old, while the other one could be three years old and only be two inches. Now, another way to guess the age of a turtle is by counting the rings on their scoots. And as a reminder, the scoot is basically just the top part of their shell. So it kind of works similar to like a tree, for example, how a tree has a number of rings for each year that they go through the seasons. And like I said, this is an estimate, but in theory, most species of turtles will shed their shell about one or two times per year. And this is up until maybe the ages of like nine or 10. So after that, this method is not as reliable. But what you can do is basically count the number of lines on their shell. And typically, like I said, if it's about one or two times per year, that can give you at least an estimate. And the location of rings will vary based on the species of turtle. But this little graphic here does do a good job of showing where the rings might be on the shell. So for example, if you examine a turtle shell and you see that there's around 10 lines on the scoot then that means the turtle is probably between the ages of 5 to 10. Like I said it's not perfect but at least it does give you a range. So I'm gonna use this method now on Penny and one thing that I will say is a lot of times it's hard to see the lines when the shell is wet so you might want to dry it off first. And here it is when it's dry so like I said it's just a little bit easier to see the lines. So looking along the ridge here I'll probably just take a screenshot to count how many lines we can see on the edge here. So obviously it's not super clear, but you can see a distinction for most of the lines. So I would say there's probably about six or seven lines or possibly eight. So let's say if there were eight lines, then that means that this turtle or penny would be probably between the ages of four and eight, given that they usually shed once or twice a year. How does that sound, Penny? Did we get it right? <laughs> I think she's just excited to get back into her tank. And it is important to mention that there are a lot of variables that can affect how fast a turtle will shed their shell. So for example, it can depend on diet. So if they're eating a lot versus not eating a lot, that can speed up or slow down how often they're shedding. And just environmental factors and honestly, temperature of the water can also affect that. So just something to keep in mind, like this is a good way to find a range of an age, but probably not the best way to determine the exact age. Now there is one method that I've actually seen online in some videos that I do want to call out as simply just being not accurate. And that is the method of basically counting the number of scoots and dividing it by two. So for example, if you count the actual number of scoots and you find 12, people say that that estimate is that your turtle is six years old. But based on my personal experience with turtles and my research, this method is simply just not accurate. For example, here's a picture of Penny when she was about four years old, and you can see she has around 13 scoots. And then here's a picture today, and she's around seven years old, and you can see she still has around 13 scoots. So just something to keep an eye out if you see that online. Like, not to say that it's never worked, but definitely not something you want to rely on. So these methods that I provided, like they are a good way to at least see, for example, when a turtle is younger, if they're in like the juvenile stage versus young adult versus adult. But also there are some ways you can at least see like in general how old a turtle is. For example, if a turtle, especially in the wild, has a lot of scrapes on it or their shell is very faded, usually that's a sign that it's older just because there's more wear and tear on the shell versus younger turtles tend to have more of like a brighter color and less scratches on their shell. But like I said, that's just in general terms, but it is a way to at least directionally know how old a turtle is. 
Also, if you're looking to get a turtle from a pet store, there is a four inch rule, which basically means that they can only sell turtles that are four inches or bigger. And obviously it will depend on the species, but you know, for example, if it's a red-eared slider and it's four inches, then obviously that chart you saw earlier, that probably means that they're three or four years or maybe even five years old. And the most accurate way to determine the age of a turtle is to take them to a vet professional. But even then, that vet will probably just use that size chart method that I mentioned in the beginning. So based off the size of their shell, there are a couple ways that they can determine like a more accurate age. So for example, they can look at the size of the skeletal structure and things like that. But even then, like it's just not done that often because even if a vet wants to administer a medication to your turtle, they're not really going to care about the age. They're just going to look at your turtle size and their weight and then determine the dosage based on that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. So if you have a pet turtle at home and you wanna know their age, or maybe you're trying to guess the age of a turtle that you found in the wild, I hope these techniques can help you. And also, if you have any other questions, please let me know down in the comments. The reason I did this whole video was because so many people had asked me this question. So that's why I did it. So please let me know if you have any other questions. And lastly, if you made it to the end of the video and you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps with the growth of this channel. And with that, me and Penny, we'll see you on the next one.